What's going on everybody? Robinson DUP. I'm actually just going to talk about a little bit about life today, some of the trends I'm noticing. So, this is going to be a completely unrelated fitness topic. Um, I guess you want to talk about maybe the, uh, the pros and the cons of social media and what it's being used for. So, when social media is being used to promote positive messages, motivation, inspiration, or news, I think social media is great because it gets it gets the information out there that much faster. Um, you can get some really great stories about a person and the trials and the tribulations they've been through and come out on the other side successful. Um, you know, that's all great, like things you would have probably never heard of 10 to 15 years ago, maybe even 20. Um, it would have taken longer to get around uh, or maybe not gotten around at all. So that's the benefit of social media, how things can go viral very, very quickly. But the negative thing that I really want to discuss and talk about, um, people are way too busy airing out their drama and their dirty laundry all over social media. Um, I don't know, maybe, I'm just old school. So for me, if I have a problem with somebody, uh, I'll just go directly to that person on the side and say, hey, listen, you know, you pissed me off. Here's the reason why. Uh, me, I'm being a little over too sensitive about the subject, whatever the case may be. Or, or I just feel you've completely disrespected me and that's unacceptable. And either you're going to apologize or I'm not going to talk to you or whatever the case may be. Um, that's how I handle my business. So, you know, for instance, I see some of these things going on on YouTube and Facebook pages where it's like somebody has a problem with somebody and instead of just handling it off to the side and, and letting things be, um, they kind of like start talking about it on Facebook or make some sort of comment on Facebook and then immediately there's like this war that starts where one side like people take sides and who's right and who's wrong without knowing the entire details of the story um, name calling bashing um, you know just cursing each other off all over the place and I, I just don't understand the need for that um, usually when these type of things happen there's two sides to every story um, and those parties alone should be short, sorting this issue out by themselves. So I'll give you an example. If, let's say, you know, Bobby and I occasionally talk from Olympus Iron, okay? So Bobby from Olympus Iron says something on social media or we have a disagreement about something, if that were the case, which we don't. I'm just using an example. Or my buddy JP, uh, JP from Shredded Strength. Um, if I ever had an issue with either one of those guys, and I'm just bringing them up because I, I occasionally text them and, and we talk every now and again, um, but if I had an issue with one of those guys over something, whether it was I felt that they copied me uh, or I felt like they disrespected, not like the fitness YouTube hasn't kind of hit its brink in terms of you know watching what we eat and workout routines, but nonetheless. Um, or if I felt that they disrespected me in some way, or they took a nasty shot at me, or, or whatever the issue is, I would reach out to one of those guys and one, find out what, what the hell was going on, what, why there was an issue, or if there's an issue, and resolve that off to the side. Um, I would never air it on a YouTube video, I would never air it on my Facebook page, um, and if we couldn't come to an agreement and we were no longer uh, on good terms, I would just let things be and I'd never bring it up um, because that's just who I am. There's way too much drama on all this stuff, and I think people need to grow up and stop it. Stop it. Um, the problem with Facebook that I've seen is people just use it way too much to describe every fart that they make, and it's not beneficial um, for a lot of relationships. This even goes for dating. Um, you know, when I see guys and girls, they get into an argument, they start posting that crap all over Facebook about how they got in an argument, how they hate their significant other, the person they're in the relationship with, and it just causes more drama and, and um, unnecessary aggravation that, 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 than there needs to be. Um, so like, if my wife and I have a disagreement, you'll never see me air that on Facebook. You'll never see me air that on YouTube. I'm a man, I handle my business the way it needs to be handled. Uh, I don't need to air it out in front of everybody else. I don't need anybody to take my side, um, manipulate details or whatever the case may be to uh, make it look like I'm innocent in, in the matter when I may or may not be. Uh, I think people really need to start to get a grip on reality and stop thinking that life is a reality TV series and you need to air out everything all over the place. 
Um, if you have an issue with somebody, address it with that person specifically. If you can't come to an agreement, act like a mature adult, which I see a, a huge lack of in society. Act, you know, act like a mature adult, handle your business, and if you can't get along, then just stay away from one another. Um, I have lost friendships in the past because I, I couldn't even tell you what happened. Um, something got out of control, something got misconstrued, there was a misunderstanding, um, whatever the case may be. I am not perfect, I'm not claiming innocence in, in how it went down. What I'm saying is I would never go out, tag those people in a post, and then insult them publicly, hoping that by doing that it's going to aid in assisting the situation when it's probably only going to make it worse. Um, I had two guys that I was very, very close friends with a couple years ago. Um, and there was just some drama going on, whatever it may be, um, and you know, it just didn't end up well, and we're not friends anymore. Um, I don't know if we ever could be friends again. I don't hold any grudges. Um, I think it was just a misunderstanding that could be straightened out, but you know, is what it is. I have one of my best friends before where, you know, we have a, a constant uh, joking back and forth about your mom um, or that's what she said or something and I made a your mom comment uh, that I was unaware of at the time that his mom was like ill not like deathly ill but just ill and not doing well thankfully she's fine now I didn't know I hadn't spoken to him in a couple weeks I had no idea what was going on and I, I just shot a text and he flipped and I was like whoa you know like chill the fuck out I had no idea <laughs> that that was going on I, I, I apologize um, but you know all you could have said is hey listen I'm really not in the mood because this is going on and it would have been cool but we're fine now but this is what I'm saying is like with all this social media and the ability to communicate with each other nobody's communicating um, they're lashing out each other and they're using it to create drama unnecessary drama which is not gonna make the situation worse so my uh, summary of all this guys if you have a problem with someone whether it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, a friend, uh, a friendly acquaintance, whatever the case may be, just address it between the two of you and come to an agreement. There is no need for this like, F you, th this, screw you, you're a baby, you know, whatever crap all over Facebook. And then everybody, it's just like it's polarizing, especially on YouTube fitness because everybody loves the drama. And it's like, oh my God, how could you say that? You're such an a-hole, blah, 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 blah. And, you, and no, nobody even knows what exactly happened and they're already taking sides. Um, I figured just let those two people handle it. It's their business, it's not my business to get involved. I do not get involved in the YouTube drama and I'm not really gonna pick sides. Um, you know, if somebody attacks me personally, I have no problem saying my piece. Uh, if I know all the details of a story, um, because I was there when it happened. I have no problem telling everybody what happened. But like this is just way too much with like all this like it sounds like a bunch of little you know yippy dogs just constantly yap 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 and it just makes us look pathetic. All right guys, I'll talk to you later.